Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the Art of Alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and I have an autoimmune condition called Alopecia Universalis. Basically what that means is my immune system has taken the attack my hair follicles and that is why I am completely bald and balding throughout my body. And on this YouTube channel, we primarily do make reviews. <laughs> um, but I have done some tips, tricks, tutorials, Q and A's. I hope to do more of that stuff this coming summer. But I'm also very active on a few other social media platforms. I have my Instagram and I have my TikTok. You can also find me under the name The Art of Alopecia. I will link them down below if you want just a direct link to find me. I also have a Gmail account if you want to email me the old fashioned way. Absolutely do that. It is theartofalopecia at gmail.com. I would love to chat or answer any questions you may have. But anyways, guess what guys? I guess there's no one there to respond to me. <laughs> I am officially on summer break. I have successfully completed my third year of university. I'm done all my exams and I couldn't be more happy. I'm on summer break, woohoo, vacation. Um, but anyways, for today's video guys, I have a very exciting um, wig to review and that is from the company, The Hustle Wig, yay! Alrighty, so The Hustle Wig is a company based in the US. I wanna say they're located in New York, but don't quote me on it. Um, and basically they create hat falls, which are also called their hustle wigs. They're meant for hustlers on a day-to-day -day basis. I just, I love that. I love the name. I think it's so clever. Um, but let's get right into it because we don't need to make this intro any longer than it needs to be. So introducing the hustle wig. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. So I have been wearing her for the past, I wanna say month now. I really wanted to test her in and outside, do different activities in it so that I can give you guys the best possible review. So this is the Hatfall Hustle Wig and I'm so excited, oh my goodness. Okay, let's get into it. Before I begin talking about the specs, I just wanted to clarify the term Hatfall for any viewers that are watching in and tuning in right now that may not be familiar with that term. So I'm just gonna clarify that. So basically what a hat fall is, is it's not entirely a full wig as you can begin to tell because there is a piece of material with stitched hair all around it. So basically when you are putting on a hat on a regular wig, the top of the wig gets really, really humid and hot and it's just, there's so much hair underneath the hat and sometimes it just can get really, really uncomfortable in the warmer months or for people who live in higher climates. These wigs were designed to basically relieve that area and f to allow people to still wear like a hat or to still wear like bandanas without having all of that hair at the top of their head, worrying about sweating worrying about like ruining the wig because of the humidity so these things are really really great for anyone in higher degree climates who do physical activity they're great for running but i'm going to get into that later on in the video so now that we are all on the same page let's talk about this hustle wig let's talk about the specs i don't really have a whole lot but i do have the most important specs that one would want to know. So first and foremost, this is their Wavy Blonde Highlighted Hustle Wig. I believe they have at least three or four, maybe even more different colors available. I believe they have three different hair textures. They have straight wavy, which is this one, or they have um, curly as well. As for this one, this one is 18 inches in length. She is a long girl. I don't exactly know the density. If I find out, I will list it down below. I don't think it was available on their website. I believe you can customize the length if you ask them, or you can add in some face framing layers, which I believe they have done for me. So thank you, Hustle Wig. But yeah, that is really all of the specs that I have other than the cap construction. So here we have a nice kind of like soft bamboo material at the top, which I like. Um, we've got some ear tabs, so it's gonna stay secure. So these go right in front of your ears. And then we have a closed machine wefted back with some adjustment straps at the back. And this one is a small, of course, because I have a peanut size head. 
I think the only thing that I would recommend the hustle wig, and I don't know if you can customize this part, I would maybe add the same bamboo kind of material on the ear tabs um, to make it a little bit more comfortable. Even a little bit of silicone would be amazing to help the hustle wig really grip to the head. So let's throw her on. Okay, let's do this. So the reason why I love these things so much is because they are so easy to just throw on and out the door you go. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh my, like I am obsessed with this color. And these waves, oh my goodness. So these are natural human hair waves. So even when you wash it, even when you put hot tools on it and then you wash it, this is how it's going to dry. It is just so, so, so stunning. Okay, let's throw on a hat. Ah, okay. Super duper easy, super duper cute. Perfect for the summer weather or for people who live in summer weather all the time oh my goodness and they cut in some face framing layers so if i even wanted to put her up in a low to mid pony i could always take out some parts and again if you want to customize these parts a little bit shorter or maybe you want to add in some baby hairs i'm sure the hustle wig will be able to customize that for you let me show you guys the top that is the top obviously there are wefts coming in and out of the hair but again once you throw on that hat or that bandana problem solved let me show you guys the back when you are wearing this kind of wig, especially with a hat, um, it looks so natural to the human eye. With a hat, you will not be able to see any of the wefts at all. It is super duper indetectable. I love this wig so much. I think it is just such a great alternative to a regular size wig. It is so versatile. As I said, you can really Put your hair up into a low to mid pony as long as you are pulling out some hairs to kind of disguise the wefts or the ear tabs because they do kind of bunch up if you kind of play around with them. Um, another thing that you can do is there is this tool on Amazon, it's called a hair razor. And you can basically, if you feel comfortable doing it yourself or bring it to a local salon that you feel comfortable <laughs> doing it, or you can ask the hustle wig to maybe do it. I'm not sure if they can do it 100%. I have said do it like <laughs> so many times in the past minute. But anyways, um, adding in some baby hairs always helps with the realism, especially putting in some baby hairs at the back to kind of scruff up that back nape so things look a little bit more natural if you choose to put it into a pony. But it's just so great, you can braid it as well, which I love. But honestly, I am obsessed with these waves. This is just like the dream. This is the dream. Having wavy hair, it's the dream. You don't have to put heat on it to achieve these waves again. It will just stay like this. So, oh my goodness, so gorgeous. Ooh, let me quickly talk about the comfortability of the cap construction because I have had this wig for about um, a month now and I have done some activities outside, some activities inside. I really wanted to wear it fully in different kind of climates, different activities to give you guys the best possible review. I can tell you that this is super duper comfortable. My scalp is usually very sensitive to different kinds of materials, but honestly, I haven't had an issue with this. I'm not sure if the Hustle Wig does this, um, but they might do customizations with different materials for their cap constructions. So it is just something maybe to ask about, to inquire about um, if you, do have like a sensitive scalp like me um, or an even more sensitive scalp than me then maybe just inquire about that and maybe they can add something in or take something out to suit your needs properly also I just wanted to let you guys know before you start asking I don't unfortunately have a discount code to give you guys this time 
But what I can say is if you do end up buying a Hustle wig and you are in the process of checking out, there will be a comment section where usually they have comment sections for any special requests that you might have for your Hustle wig. So if you put my name, Marcy, <laughs> um, into the description box, then you may or may not receive a free gift. So that will be really exciting. So take advantage of getting your freebies. I love freebies. But yeah, I thought I would just add that in. So Marcy in the description or comment box and free gift, woo! But yeah, my biggest word of advice if you are planning on getting a hat fall or hustle wig is to make sure that your hat is well secure. I wouldn't necessarily wear a hat fall wig on like a windy day with like a flowy beach hat. Um, I think that would make me a little bit anxious, not that I'm ashamed of it falling off, I think that would be hilarious, but I'm just keeping in mind of the people that may want to kind of protect their privacy of wearing a wig. So. Just be, just be aware of kind of the days that you're wearing your hat fall and if there's going to be wind or not or at the beach, maybe at the beach it's best to wear a secure baseball hat or a secure bandana. But that is just my little two cents from the time that I have worn the hustle wig. But I would highly recommend getting yourself one of these for the summer. I'm going to be wearing this constantly. I will be posting lots about it. I would highly recommend going to visit the Hustlewig. They have an online website um, and I believe they also have a salon in New York so you can actually go in and try some on. So that is really exciting. So if you are in the area then I would highly recommend going to check them out. But without further ado, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time on The Art of Alopecia. Bye guys! Thank you.